all. Welcome to Watching Movies with April and Kenny. I am your Kenny. Today we'll be watching The Mummy. Yes, of course, the Brendan Fraser Mummy from 1999, directed by Stephen Summers. This is the first in a series of movies we'll be reviewing on this show. Movies that we loved as children that we're now re-watching as adults and praying to the gods of all that is holy that it actually holds up and isn't horrible or offensive. In particular, The Mummy is one of, if not the absolute favorite, favorite movie of our sister Samantha, so we of course had to have her along. Does it hold up though? There's only one way to find out. If you haven't seen the movie, go watch it. If you haven't heard our review of it, listen to the previous episode. But if you're ready, the movie starts in three, two, one. <coughs> <That's>, all right. <laughs> Good start. I should have done that earlier. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you did it on purpose to be a dick. <laughs> so today, uh, me, April. That's me. And Samantha. That's me. Are watching a childhood favorite of ours, 1999's The Mummy. The only actual mummy movie that exists. In my mind. Oh, what a transition. So we'll get this out of the way immediately. Uh, Samantha, is this your favorite movie of all time? Is that fair? Uh, yeah. Well, P&T. tied for one. Yeah, tied for number one with another. What's, yeah. it, what's it tied with? Pride and Prejudice. Okay, yeah, okay. Which we have already. Yes, considered. we've talked about. <laughs> By the way, if you haven't watched uh, Corridor Crew breaking down how they did these effects here, it's pretty interesting. So, hmm. quick recommendation for you. Yeah, I never really thought about it. But this is really good. Yeah, for pretty big effects. Well, I have not seen this movie in probably like 10 years. Yes, yeah, I would agree. I saw it a few months ago. <laughs> Still <laughs> loved it. <laughs> so you revisited it recently. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Emotep. Sexy. <laughs> I don't, I don't, uh, I don't hate it. He looks good. Wait till he's in his little loincloth. She looks pretty good. She looks amazing. She looks incredible. <laughs> <laughs> you see your titties. Oh yeah. <laughs> this guy's like, oh damn. Oh, oh. oh okay. <laughs> My cheeks. Gold paint, so hot right now. Forbidden love, so hot always. (laughs) So I was thinking about this going into this movie, remembering what I could from the whatever the last time I watched it was. I have a question: Is this whole opening part necessary at all for the movie? Because we just watched Con Air and we just kind of bagged on it for its. (laughs) wholly unnecessary opening scene this is way better yeah much better opening scene but do we need any of this well you know what it is important i'm kind of stupid (laughs) so i love exposition like i like it a little bit spelled out for me this explains why he was mummified and buried the way he was remember later on yes like he must have been very naughty But, but she says like she tells us And then O'Connell has a line where it's like, maybe you got a little frisky with the Pharaoh's daughter. Like he, they. But then the whole reason, I mean, when he comes back, one of his main goals is to bring her back. And if we hadn't met her, we would have been like, who, what? I guess so. His motivations wouldn't have made sense without this. You may be right. Probably figure out a bull, but for uh, the regular person, yeah. I, I think mean, a lot of people like exposition. <laughs> I mean, these sets are sweet. Like, this looks so nice. It's gorgeous. Look at this stuff. I'm not asking you to do this right now, Samantha, but can you do all the Egyptian lines? Uh, I'm pretty rusty, okay, so I, probably not. I, I don't know. I had to... I had to tell Samantha to not quote every (laughs) single line because she can, and she would normally. But I do give you permission when it's just an Egyptian line, you can try try to do it. Okay. Just the Egyptian lines? Just the Egyptian lines. It's cruel, but okay. 
How about the camel? Cruel but fair. Yeah, you can do the camel the, too. Her noises when she's on the camel. Are you saying Egyptian and camel is like the same thing? No, of course not. <laughs> Camel's just also a foreign language. <laughs> I just imagine like Pirates of the Caribbean open with like they dove into the the cave and they stole the Aztecian cursed gold for their crimes. They will roam the seas for it's like I don't need all that. <laughs> well, you like to work for your movies. A yeah, little. I do. Yeah, this is not a work for it kind of movie. No, no. this is just fun. It's a good old fashioned fun, fun. adventurous. Root for the good guy. A lot like Con Air. It is like Con Air in a lot of ways. It came out in the 90s. That's the biggest commonality, I would say. (laughs) (laughs) The Magi. Was he going to stab her? Doesn't he need a sacrifice? That's a good question. There's no sacrifice here. I remember well, next to nothing about this movie, if I'm being honest. I don't know. I don't know how it works. That's a great plot hole. Yeah. Doesn't matter. It might come clearer <laughs> as we watch. Yeah, probably they'll answer that question. Definitely. And many other burning questions we have. Maybe he was going to kill one of those guys. Oh, Didn't those look like Was there anybody else like around? <laughs> Maybe he was going to kill himself. Well, then what's the point? Uh, he's... He's too selfish. Yeah, they were going to be reunited. So I don't know if we'll ever cover The Mummy Returns. I'm going to say no. No. I'm just going to veto it right now. But (laughs) one of my favorite moments from The Mummy Returns is, spoilers, in the climax where Anaxuna Moon just ditches him. Night! And she runs away. And he's he's like, all right, I am going to die then because my entire existence has been about being together with you. Yes. And it's... You know, paired with Evie. Yeah, he's going to save Rick. Yeah, and they both look at him like, "Sorry, bro. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> that really blows." Seeing what those bugs do later—that's the most dangerous thing you could ever do. You just pour them on there. What if one gets out? Yeah, very no, easily could have gotten. Digs right into your skin. fucking brain. That's the dedication these guys show to their job. So one of my favorite props ever is the puzzle box. So cool. Damn. We've um, found your puzzle box. <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't saying it at the same time. <laughs> Doesn't count. That's strike one. All right. She quotes the whole movie. I will throw you out here. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, watch so, the years. Don't, ca- don't care about past, that title card, but this is nice. Incredible. That's pretty nice. I mean... <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> Look how much time passed. I would be this so happy if the movie just started least... here. What's wrong with Kenny, this? Kenny, get over it. <laughs> Kenny okay? hates introductions. The beginning was good. It was fun. It was exciting. It gave you background on this person. So you'd be like, oh shit, I hope that he never comes back. This, but wait, he this will. This movie was not made for the Kettys. No. <laughs> but I enjoy it. Like... I'm gritching so far, but this is a Benny, good movie. Though? You excited to see Benny? I'm pretty excited to see excited Benny. Excited to see him get his comeuppance. He's a good. He's a good character. He is. Speaking of good characters, yeah, hello. Here we go. I always here's like the sexy this guy. guy. He's just watching like these fucking guys. Yeah. Oh man, I want to quote. It's so hard not to. <laughs> this movie has charm, wit, great dialogue. Look at Rick. Mm. Brendan Fraser. Look at him. So beautiful. Seriously. Ideal man. Peace. Well, All right. A little bitch. stinkweed. That's great. You know everything you yes. need to know about uh-huh. Benny's character. Absolutely. I wonder what this war is. Like, are they fighting over yeah, Hominoptera? I, I like that we don't know. Yeah. 
It's like, when are oh, I wish they like... explained that in the intro, actually. Is like, he... why are they fighting right, right now? Because it's like, I've always wondered, and I was right. like, this is, kind of makes the movie bad for me, not knowing. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta work for it and figure it out. <laughs> Do some Googling shots about fired. what Speaking armies. of shots fired. <laughs> Whoa, that guy! These guys are dying! There's so many things I think about now as an adult. Like those guys plummeting off the edge there. <laughs> yeah. They're diving onto mats. But it looks so good. It does. They've got those I big sand hills in the all. background. I oh, just like love God. looking at all of the architecture. Yeah. Ar- architecture. Architecture. Yep. Of Hominoptera. Whoa! <laughs> Not the and knife. Egypt and all of that. He's got a cigarette in his mouth? No, oh. he's got a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> They don't make movies like this anymore. This is all just people <coughs> acting and horses. Like, this would all be CG today. I don't know. I feel like we're making a return to practical effects. Yeah. Which I love. I do, too. I think that's a way to differentiate yourself and make your movie look great nowadays. Can that's I what I love about it? rewatching like the Star Wars <coughs> movies, to see all those practical effects. It's mm-hmm. really fun. <laughs> I mean, just have a walk. <laughs> She's really heavy. <laughs> Wee! Woo! It's amazing. Oh, jeez. I love our heroes <laughs> running away from stuff. They don't have to look heroic all the time. Yeah. Shit, cornered. Doesn't he look good in that uniform? He looks the great. Uniform that is dead. Oh, oh the oh. horses don't like it. It's Something booped. unnatural is afoot. Emphasis on feet. Sand. Why? Because there's going to be something underfoot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Calls to us. That's from Pirates. <laughs> <laughs> the cold so calls to us. We're mixing our yeah. movies a little bit. You know how they did those sand effects? No. That's all real sand. They just had actual actuator ramps. This is not real, but <laughs> how cool is but that? That's cool. I mean, that's scary. Did you research this before we watch? Uh. Are you just lying through your teeth right No, now? that's all. That's true. I only know those things I've said so far. Again, Corridor crew looked at this movie, talked about some of the effects. Nice. How about that? Let's see if I'm right. Say it again. <laughs> Ooh, okay. That was pretty close. That was pretty good. I butchered it. People are going to be offended, but okay. okay what here's language? our girl. Here we go. What'd you say? Was that Egyptian? What I don't language? know. I'm not sure. Aramaic. So here's a question I've been pondering in the lead up to this: Is Evie portrayed by Rachel Weisz in 1999, The Mummy? The hottest woman in the world. Yes. She's amazing. Beautiful. She's smart. Just look at her. She's a librarian. <laughs> that fit. Yes. Great, great fit. Yes. Just lean forward. Just well, she is going to, and it doesn't work out. She's delightfully flighty. She is. <laughs> Great shoes. <laughs> you did this to yourself. I mean, I gotta blame the setup of the library for that one. <laughs> I mean, it seems crazy. You were inviting trouble. You just set it up like dominoes. <laughs> Don't anchor them to the floor at all. Come on. I never, See, this here's another thing I never thought about. They had to set up that whole stunt 
And what if it doesn't go right? You have to reset, reset. all of that. That's the magic. Sounds <laughs> of the fair. <laughs> this guy. This guy's been in everything. This is one of those guys that once you see him, you'll see him in all yeah. kinds of movies you watch. I want to say something, get it out of the way real quick here, uh, also at the beginning of the movie. So this is the mummy set in Egypt, lots of Middle Eastern characters, very few of them played by Middle Easterners. Mm -hmm. I think the only one is their scuzzy friend they meet later, is actually of Persian descent. Uh, uh -huh. um, Benny is a white guy, this guy, uh, I don't know what his ethnicity is, I don't think he's Egyptian, I'm going to go ahead and say. Yeah. Benny is, yeah, like, the whitest guy. It's it's tough, because everybody does such a good job. And, I mean, some of them are just supposed to be Americans in yeah, Egypt totally. anyway, but... And she's obviously... Well, she says she's half Egyptian, right? She does. Ooh! Oh, here comes a great character. <laughs> oh, Yeah. This movie is filled with great characters. It really so is. So clearly drawn. Getting spooked. Ooh. I watch some YouTubers who do reaction videos to movies, and they, everybody has, like, during October, they do, like, scary movies, and some people react, this, this is not a scary movie. No, not at all. This is action adventure no, swashbuckling. There were parts that scared me as a kid. I mean, this is presenting itself as some horror, very purposefully, as some bait and switch. Don't you love that she says these like Egyptian names, and then she's like Bob? There's a Bob that works there apparently too. <laughs> sure. I mean, she's Evie. You love him. He's so mischievous. <laughs> well, I Slap never expound him. on expand on how he ruined his career or anything about him. You just have to guess. Don't See you what love I mean? That? I do love that. That's great. We just know he's a little uh he's a buffoon. He's transient. A, he, yeah, he's a buffoon. He's like a con man. <laughs> A little bit of a sleaze ball, but very charming. <laughs> very likable, yeah. yeah. This will be something we discuss, I mean, for the audience. We've already discussed in the previous episode, but I'm curious about this guy. I don't think I've seen him in anything else. I was just going to ask that. <laughs> Whoa, we know what that is. <laughs> So that is one thing that we get from the intro that I've so maligned that this seeing this would not hit us if we didn't have that intro. We'd be like, I mean, that's cool and all, but... Yeah. <clears throat> What's it for? Well, you wonder where Rick got it, too, because he's the one that right. Jonathan lifted it from. Ooh. The transition. <laughs> what a transition. This movie is just You're nice. really into those, like behind the scenes details these are these are things i didn't notice as a kid it's just like deaths. i just love the movie she's so smart i love it she's also got just perfect eyeshadow drop the makeup routine evie i'd like to know <laughs> What if I started dressing like that? I think I uh, you'd have back. to fight off men <laughs> and women. <clears throat> oh, oh. A little trickery here. Oh my goodness. Oh, Oops. no. I set it on fire. 
Did you suspect anything, though, the first time you watched it? I mean, it's so long ago, but I'm going to say no. <laughs> I'm sure I didn't either. No. Although he's like, it's for the best. Eh. Yeah, clearly. Some. Some. Oh, damn. <laughs> I feel like I know all of the, the beats. This guy. Yeah. This guy is the only person, I believe, of actual Mid East descent. Too. <laughs> His character. He was just looking for a good time. Oh, I guess I don't know. The the chief of the the secret order. I love to fart, whatever his name is. Audet Bay. I don't know what his his background is. He's hot. We know that. This movie just reminds me of Mom thirsting over like all the sexy men in this movie. <laughs> she's always the one to be like, oh, he's sure. so good looking. Why not? There are lots of Here's great... Here's her favorite line. <laughs> Look at his hair. It's beautiful. <laughs> if it was washed, Jonathan's. Yes. Look at it. He's very George of the Jungle here. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's another mom mm-hmm. movie right there. Hello, excuse me. <laughs> That's not Egyptian. <laughs> it's just funny how she's like trying to be polite right. in this prison. Steps over the brother. Oh, he likes her. (laughs) What a great line. (laughs) She plays the sweet little librarian so well. (laughs) Definitely. I love controversial but in the second one there's a lot of good stuff you guys but in the second one he goes and rescues her and he's like are all librarians this much trouble and she's like "Mm mm-hmm and just nods her head (laughs) not to bring this conversation back to boba fett (laughs) but all our episodes are gonna be about he is so he you know he's dirty and grimy and disgusting but his teeth are not shockingly white like they could have done that for boba fett's teeth that's all i'm gonna say agreed do better are boba fett's teeth too white they're blinding Oh. oh my god perfect veneers but it does not make sense come on da ba da gross Everybody saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Loser. His neck did not break. <laughs> Got a thick now neck. I must watch him strangle to death. <clears throat> I did the hand motion. You guys can't see that, but I did the hand motion. You guys too. are the worst. <laughs> Our listeners won't even have to watch the movie. Just That's listen true. Listen to you quote the whole time. <laughs> I'll shut up. I make no promises. You made me promise. It's it's my show. (laughs) Hey, it's my show too. All right. So you want to quote Everybody shut up. (laughs) Perfect for a commentary track. (laughs) He's choking. (laughs) His neck is strong. (laughs) Dummy. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just look right She's here. So smug and Lip, satisfied. Step on me. <laughs> the eyebrow. Oh my god. Yeah. Take it easy. <laughs> this movie moves me. Yeah, it's good. Don't you love these outfits too? Look at her going Absolutely. on safari like that. I mean, I all love these it. costumes. Look how big this set is. It's amazing. Yeah, think of how many extras they had on this movie. Whoa. Oh my god, oh, he's who is that? sexy. Yes, sir. <laughs> this 
smashing. <laughs> Great character. Look at her hat. Isn't that cute? I'm looking at Jonathan's hat. I like hers. This is a tangent, but at my dentist's office, <laughs> he was I can't wait to hear. Say, asking if I had seen, or I don't know. He was like, "What are you gonna do tonight?" It was a Friday night when I went to the dentist. Friday evening, and I was like, "I don't know. Probably watch a movie and go to bed early." He's like, "Oh, have you seen the new Matrix?" And he was like, super obsessed with it, and I was like, "Yeah, we did." And he was like, "I just love Keanu Reeves," and we, he started talking about that, and he was like, "Constantine." I was like, "Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Rachel Constantine. Weiss. We should watch I was like, that." Rachel Weiss is so good. good, and he was like, "Who's that?" And I was like. Never mind. Like, how do you not? Know? I'm going to switch dentists now. Yeah. Yeah, Constantine. Add it to the list. That'll that'll come up at some point. That movie slaps hard. <laughs> My dentist really liked it. <laughs> well, and I was like, ask him if he has any other she's recommendations. Great. <laughs> she's. I got lots of recommendations. I feel like Need for Speed. Uh, I've got. Uh, Need for Speed. I've got. Um, Speed? Think of the worst movies you know. Yeah. <laughs> Mission Impossible 3 Kenny was really good. can't even name bad movies because he does not <laughs> engage with them. You should do Grown Ups, Jurassic Park Grown Ups 2. Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> I, I have to, like, April has to recommend bad movies for this channel because I will not. <laughs> April, did you know that's Pistol Pete from Parks and Rec? Really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> All of these characters are fun. Yeah. And handsome. I feel like I've seen this guy on the left somewhere. Yeah. I feel like he's got a bit part in a lot of different yeah. stuff. <laughs> he was in What I Like About You. Do you remember that show? Yeah, of course He I was remember. one of Val's love interests, I think, in that show. She had a million. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so cute. Ooh. <laughs> if you call that a kiss. Try kissing my vagina. <laughs> <laughs> it's all your movie improvisations. Just insert vagina. Well, into obviously the they're going to fuck. Look at them. <laughs> There are all kinds of great uh, memes about this movie awakening people's bisexuality yeah, with yeah, these two characters sense. in particular. It's like, yeah, I get it. That tracks. <laughs> the Book of the Dead gives life. That's for the second one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> So I'm not quoting this one, you see. Oh, God. Oh, my so God. This turns to my returns quote Check fest. Vitality. I wanted to say that really bad. It's not good gun safety. <laughs> Just pointing it at her. Oh, this Oops, little I see rat. A line. It's still funny. Uh, Wee! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 
<laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh shit. Wet footprints. This is all stuff again. Not to keep harping on it. If we didn't have the intro, I'd be like, wow, what a mystery. What's going on? <laughs> I mean, how mm-hmm, would you uh, mm-hmm. how would you know who got on the boat though? You don't. What are, what are you saying, I guess? We know someone's like trying to stop them, but we don't oh. know what the deal is. <laughs> Little clue there, the window is open. Look, her makeup is still perfect. What setting spray do you use, Evie? Ah! It's natural beauty. <laughs> He's got a little dagger thing, too. Did O'Connell get that in Where's Egypt? the map? Right there. <laughs> <gasps> Look how happy she was to see oh, you. Oh, yeah. Dual wielding, baby. Too many shots. <laughs> Look at her, though. Yeah! (laughs) Got him. Oh, yeah. She knows what's up. Look how cute her nighty is. She looks incredible. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm trying to think. There's this movie. There's Pirates. (laughs) There's Stardust. Look at this. (laughs) Put him up. Yeah. Sorry. This, this is an movie? exciting part. I, I, I get it. <laughs> We're trying to comment, though, uh, not just watch a movie. I mean, I can't, though. I can't focus on that. Keep right. going. I'm enthralled. What are the other good... Are there any other good swashbuckling movies in the past decade? Swashbuckling specifically? That's how I would think about these movies. They're like swashbuckling, like v- like roguish adventure. adventure. Okay, so we should watch Romancing the Stone. I've never, never watched seen it. it. Oh, it's really it's a big swashbuckling. That's one that mom likes fun too, right? adventure. It's really we need mom to have mom really on an that. episode. Yes, yeah. you should do that one with her. It's okay. great. That'd be a good reaction I mean, episode where we're watching it for the first no time. Yeah. yeah, it's older than the last decade. It's like from the eighties, I think. But yeah, it's it, great. Well, that's my point. Is like in the eighties, there were all kinds of great, mm-hmm. like swashbuckling, fun adventure movies, and then they kind of either died out, or I think it's more just people forgot how to make them. Yeah, like, like or there Indiana was Jones. So... Did you say Indiana Jones? Like those are adventure. There were so movies. many. People got you tired know, of like, them. Like you know. Who could, I guess these are trendy as well this, as everything else. Yeah. You know? So right now, a movie that's coming out uh, is out right now. Actually, time of recording is Uncharted. It's Tom oh, Holland, yeah. Which is based off a video game, which is in the same spirit of Indiana Jones, the Mummy, swashbuckling mm-hmm. treasure hunter guy. And uh, I don't know. Uh, I need to do my typical thing and wait to see if anybody. I says heard it's, it's good. generally okay. Yeah. I saw. I was like excited about the idea of it. It's like you could turn this into a good movie, and then I saw some of the previews where it's like special effects nonsense. It's like, oh man. I feel like there aren't very many movies <clears throat> recently that are like new movies, like not a remake, not based off of something else. Just like that's definitely true. I, I mean, that's been that. true for fifteen years now. Sure. Most movies are remakes or based on something or a or, live action version, right? <laughs> Everybody's feeling nostalgic right now. I Smith and I were just talking about yeah. remakes of Disney <laughs> yeah. classics. Now people are watching them ironically, yeah. but that gets them money, so they just keep making more. Yeah. <clears throat> I just read something about a bunch of movies coming out that are like uh, adaptations of documentaries about real things, uh, and it's like, do we really good need line all right that here. stuff? Oh boy, one of the best lines in the movie. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look at him throwing his little fit. Yeah. Kick the water. <laughs> <laughs> Did you love when Jonathan's like, Americans? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Wonder what he tried to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're both jumping yeah. around. Very 
very cartoonish. Look how handsome he is with his little neckerchief. Well, I was gonna yeah. say, look at his scarf. Yeah, it's so just cute. a great simple costume. Yes, that's why they kept it in the Mario Returns because it worked so well. Mm-hmm. All his holsters. Ooh, very tempting. <gasps> Ooh, look at her. Babe. Did up the eyeliner yeah, today. Yeah, did. <laughs> Blush. So demure. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. If you know, you know. <laughs> We're really going to alienate our audience with this one. Who's watching this that isn't going to be doing exactly the same thing? <laughs> right, watching. So. That's the thing. Who's, who's listening that isn't in love with this movie? I'm going wa- to listen to this commentary track for 1999's The Mummy. I've never seen it, so let's <laughs> let's go for it. Mm-hmm. That would be a gorgeous. Me high yes, song. sir. <laughs> That's right. Like boots or stockings? I don't know, but it, she looks. Either good. way, <laughs> of course she does. This has good music too. It does have good music. <clears throat> a little travel montage. Mm-hmm. Love it. It would have been so easy for them to do the Indiana Jones thing of like tracing a map, but they do like over the dunes, little phase and overlays. Very good. Yeah. But camels are weird. <laughs> Hot take. <laughs> you ever looked at a camel? They really Very are. Very strange. <laughs> I think they'll get there before the Americans. <gasps> Don't know. Oh, I was gonna say. No spoilers. <laughs> every time Amber and I watch basically anything, but especially movies, Amber's like, "Oh my gosh, this is like a role playing game." It's it's become like she just always says it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> this movie really does feel that yeah. way all the way through. Choose your own adventure. Well, it, what are you gonna it, do next? It even has the thing like a classic thing to do in a role playing game because you have your adventuring party, right? Is to make a rival party that you're competing yeah. against, and this movie really has that. That moon looks bad. That's true. It was an interesting. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> idea for them to have two different parties mm-hmm. trying to both find it. Yeah. Adds an extra layer. This one is strong. <laughs> How do you see him from that distance? Does he have superpowers? Yeah, kind of. This movie's crap. <clears throat> Shut your mouth. This is unbelievable. <laughs> they got such a crew. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whatever. They all kind of suck. (laughs) (laughs) Americans. Uh, That's a line I did not remember at all, but it's very (laughs) funny. What the hell are we doing? Ted loves his short tie. (laughs) Because it comes down to like the bottom of his pecs. I like that a lot. And that he's never actually wearing his coat. It's always like on his shoulders. Yeah, draped he's like, over. how does he keep it on all the time? How do I get that look? He's that's what Ted's icon. really asking. Yeah, that's what Ted's really asking. How do I make that right. happen for me? Mr. Ismay? <gasps> big piece of shit in every movie he's in. He definitely is. I'm a notcher. So what's the idea here? Is it's like... Is this magic or is this just like a geographic effect? I would say geographic effect. I would say magic. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I wish they had explained this in the intro. <laughs> so that's what you want explained. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't want anything explained. He just wants to talk out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? That's what this whole podcast is. <laughs> Take his whip. Evil little thing. Ow. Punch him. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Trample him to death. (laughs) Look out, Benny. He's so nasty. It's so funny to watch the camels run. Yeah. (laughs) 
Just fuck already. <laughs> He's like, I don't fully understand you, but I really like your vibe. It's like, hold on that switch for later, baby. <laughs> The girls are drinking. No. Look at her. She's the winner. She deserves it too. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Look at this. It's so cool. It's great. I would never drink while podcasting. Fresh. <laughs> Is there any more in that one? No. Okay. Don't worry, I finished it. <laughs> Don't you love how petty he is? I do. <laughs> Like, not even tying even, a real knot. It's just wanting to hit Even though this guy. movie, like, moves so fast, they've got time for little moments like mm-hmm. that. Classic this line guy. right here. What does a Ooh. woman know? Ugh. And then listen to her. She knows a lot. I don't want to indict anybody, but our father and our brother uh, both use that line what frequently. Line? What does a woman know? Ugh. Pigs, that sounds right? about right. That sounds like dad, anyway. Yeah. I'd say Ted does that to me too, but he knows I'm like, eh, are you kidding me? And then he just laughs, laughs about it. He not also to, likes a line coming up soon. Not to bring this out to okay. you. back to Boba Fett, but <laughs> <laughs> Vince and I were watching it, and you know, Java the Hut is in it. Not Java, but a relative. A I don't know, whatever. And I was telling him about dad's famous line of. Jabba, why don't you come <laughs> fuck me in the ass? This is Jedi, yeah. <laughs> oh, ironic, did considering you, yeah. your eventual fate. Did you see her look, though, before he, like, dove down in there? She was like, mm. Give me some of that. Yeah. Hot. <laughs> oh, it's that guy. Look how smart she is. This is cool. Again? <laughs> Anybody who's done any kind of Egyptian role-playing game thing, like, you can't not use that. Yeah. <clears throat> My good son. We need to do a mummy-influenced RPG. Oh, that would be so fun. I would bet you anything it exists. I'm sure. Oh, God. really harping on that so I have not watched the uh, Tom Cruise mummy (laughs) nope me either I don't plan to no absolutely not Uh, but I've watched reviews of it and one thing that they like make a point to do in that is make the mummy kind of like non-specific. It's like not really an Egyptian thing. They like bury the mummy in some other land and it's influenced by all these other things. And it's like, man, who's going to be offended about this thousands years old civilization <laughs> being used as a plot device? Come on. No, I don't think so. This guy sucks. (laughs) (laughs) Look how smart she is. She's smarter than everybody here. Of course. That's why I love this movie so much. I never noticed. I don't know if they did that on purpose, but you can go back a little bit. Jonathan's hand is like shaking as he says, <laughs> yeah, me too. Touch the like arm. A, a little pussy Ooh, in front little. of Frick. He's got a twinge going on. I love how also Jonathan's just watching. Yeah. He's not ever doing anything. It's a great movie just to watch like characterization. Yeah. I think that's the best thing about the movie. 
everything you see on screen is constantly <laughs> reinforcing characters. He's holding the other tool yeah. and not doing anything she's with like, it. She's like, I'll do a little, I'll help a little bit. Right, I'm helping. And he's like, eh, damn Americans. <laughs> he's literally crawling around like a rat. Yeah, why did he leave their group? What's he, oh, he's I guess he's some looking riches. for some of his own riches. He's, 25% isn't enough. Right, he's a little dumbass. He hates bugs, but hey. Oh, look, bugs. <gasps> Should I touch or? Blue gold. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> That's not a thing. Blue gold. Oh, kind of get looks some, like a uh, bug. Get some racial ululations right now. Right. <laughs> Ugh, this guy's He's such a worst. scary person. Like you're saying this this bit character, the American version Sita. of O'Connell, Sita. is perfect because he's so non-specific. <laughs> <gasps> Fuck that! <laughs> Transitions. Oh, golfing. <laughs> Best monologue. did the most yeah, with doing the least. <laughs> what was it though? I don't know. So I need to know. She knows what's up. That's such a mystery. I w- want to ponder it. But you don't have to, because they told you at the beginning. <laughs> That's the best part. Yeah, that is the best part. You're right. <laughs> I take it all back. Uh-oh. Ooh. Fuck this noise. Whoa! No. This is scary. If yeah, you, that's... Really, I mean... <clears throat> As a kid, what scared me most was his long jaw opening up, but now it's like... That's the there's worst. There's a lot more scary We just things. started rewatching The X-Files... We just I watched love X-Files. the episode in like the Arctic Circle where they went and there was yep. things crawling under their skin. And I was like, it's Scarab. Right. That's a really good uh, episode. It is. Crawls in his eye and it here. it turned out to be Eek. the one woman. Oh, yeah. So good. Spoilers for the X-Files. Sorry. <laughs> let's Season talk, one, episode After this, four. let's talk more about X-Files because okay. I love that show. <gasps> Oh, come on. Like, you couldn't put that together. Right. Yeah, it looks exactly like the thing that you had. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She's so proud of that. So, so, yeah. <laughs> so pleased with yes. herself. Good call there. So that's a great, a great D&D puzzle. This is turning into TTRPG talk <laughs> with your host, Kenny. I love an easy puzzle. Give your players an easy puzzle to solve. They don't all have to be easy, but give them easy ones because it's like, hell yeah. You feel like you can. It's like, oh, it's a little like sunburst shape. I've got one of those. Boom. Chances are they're going to fuck around anyway. Done. (laughs) I'm a genius. I don't know if salt acid is actually a thing, but it sounds bad. Salt acid. Pressurized salt acid. Don't you love that? And then later he calls attention to it. He's like, that happens a lot around here. (laughs) Good bottle. Time 
I get blasted. Let's go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is this the attack? Yes. The raid? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that quality drop. <laughs> this is on our side. Don't worry about it, guys. <laughs> I don't know who is Fire directing fight. the action, but they love the double pistol look. Yes. And you know what? No Me complaints. Too. Well, I think it's also like makes the Americans look kind of dumb. It's well, like, yeah. You know, like, I guess all the Americans are just do like that. so scared. And... Yeah, but Rick does it too but he looks cool when he does it yeah he looks competent and no doubt that's the reason he does it right he thinks he looks really cool of right. course <laughs> no because Jesus. it's practical oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> grabs the bottle of course oh god no <laughs> guess i better take care of my lady's brother yeah or she'll be mad Whoa! Oh, love that. Look at that somersault. Parkour. Is it a stick of dynamite? Yeah. You leave this place one day. One day. Good thing it's easily, with the dynamite now. <laughs> easily taken care of. Halfway through a shave. At night? Yeah, he was busy during the day. Come on. Fair enough. Maybe he has, like, extremely fast-growing facial hair. I'm hates glad that, we're thinking hates about that five o'clock shadow. <laughs> I mean, even oh, that's look how like... sweet this is. Watch, watch. Oh, right. it's so sweet. He'll touch your face very gently. Oh. Don't you love that? <laughs> like, they're already fucking. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Look, she's got his, her hand on his chest. Oh. oh, look at that. It's like the cover of a romance exactly. novel right there. He's rubbing his thumb on her arm. I was going to say, like, blot out the rest of that yes. and put them, like, on a cliff with some clouds behind exactly. them. Oh, this oh, is so, so cute. cute. <laughs> oh, oh, I fell. Oops. <laughs> I was watching there. He did not cop a feel. Okay. He's an honorable man. Is he? You just can tell. He was going to make out with her. That's true. She's wasted. And he's like, how about another drink? Well, (laughs) the thing is, like, they're going to kiss here in a second. And he's like, she passes out and he's like, all right. Yeah, that's true. Exactly. I would hope so. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, of course. I'm just saying, like, a movie from this era... They could, could, be much they, could worse. they could do some gross stuff. Yeah. He's getting her drunk, but not to get in her pants. That's true. Yeah, that's true. They've had a rough night, and she's just having some drinks, and he's teaching her how to fight. She's the one who said, I can handle my drinks, too. Look, I'm not complaining. This is really hot. <laughs> yeah. He's a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> Best line of the movie. Here we go. <clears throat> honorable if that is your name (laughs) yes (laughs) (laughs) he loves that <laughs> nice. Mom also <laughs> loves that part. <laughs> oh, you so know, cute. something I do like about this movie, it's really not a question of will they or won't they. It's they like will. we're very early they in the movie will. and they're obviously attracted to each other. They like each other. That's all good. Yes. That's nice. Yes. There are no complications or no. misunderstandings. Well, the complication is the undead curse that they, gets yeah. between them, but, you right. know, that'll happen. Well, but, yeah. 
<laughs> that has to be here Ted's comes, favorite here character. Here comes Ted's favorite. Yeah, this guy right here. Ted's favorite line. Here we go. You know what I'm talking about now, right? I do, yeah. Nice. That's not the line. <laughs> Here it comes. Those wins. It's a little Ella Akbar in the background there. Huh. Not yet. It's when Benny runs, right? Yes, that's right. I thought it was when they did, but it's when Benny goes. Be fair of the kiss. This is kiss. That, that is, is kiss. That's Bummer Returns. Right. <laughs> so you know exactly what's going to happen. Right. Glad we had that intro. Good call. Yeah. There it was. <laughs> How could you say that, though? Yesterday you saw like eight men get the, bl- yeah. melt their faces melted off with yeah. assault as super st- like, this soup and stupid bastard. Trap, you know, yeah. that wasn't anything magical to that guy anyway. I wouldn't even blame you for being superstitious at right. this point. Like, Jesus. And these guys are like, let's look at this mummy. Yeah, why not? <gasps> Ooh, I love the unhinged jaw. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Juicy. I wonder how much fun they had filming this. I, I don't know, but it... It comes through. I feel like they Seems had a like good time. time. <laughs> Samantha's going to go pee. <laughs> Porn announcement. Know. You'll hear it in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Why, though? Why was he buried alive? So there's like an undead curse there? Huh. Thanks for explaining that. Great horror shot. Love that. That's great. That's good. I can't wait to look up the taglines for this movie. Oh, God. <laughs> I bet they're awful. Only because every single tagline we've looked up so far <laughs> has been awful. <laughs> Classic American. I don't know how to read. <laughs> What's a book? How would you not say, like, look at that. I mean, yeah, it's a book, but that's obviously, a, like, a sacred artifact. Very important book. No one will buy this. It's a book. It got them words in it. It's not made of gold. Like yeah. <laughs> it's just black. Black gold. <gasps> April's going pee. <laughs> Tiny bladders. That guy really is the worst. On purpose. Yeah. Don't you like that guy's glasses, though? I like that guy in general. Mm -hmm. I feel the worst for him. Mm -hmm. He's the strapping, handsome nerd. Right. Don't you feel like maybe there's a little relationship between him and the short tie guy? Yeah, maybe. They seem really close. Maybe. I like to think of Maybe they're a thruple. Yeah. That's that's (laughs) cute. I like that. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> look at these guys yeah, oh yeah yeah i buy that very slowly this is, i like this in this stage of the movie they were rivals and now they're just kind of yeah, like hanging right. out at camp especially after the attack the night before the, right you know what could he have done <gasps> If you heard this and you hadn't seen the intro, you'd be like, interesting, Uh huh? I still like the intro. I do too. It's not bad. 
as much as I'm memeing on it. <laughs> this is like one of those like basically perfect movies. And I am really nitpicking. Like mm-hmm. these are like the tiny things that I would have changed. But I'm glad you still think of it as perfect because Oh yeah. I mean this this goes into the like, same it's really not that good if you No think no 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 no. No, I'm not saying that at all. Like this goes into the same like I put it in exactly the same bracket as like Princess Bride. Like, yes. It's just Yeah. It's basically a perfect movie. <laughs> <laughs> He's so aware of her and mm-hmm. what she's doing. God, I wish my hair looked like that. What are your products? <laughs> your it's more like her jeans. It's so mm-hmm. thick and wavy and gorgeous. Yeah, they probably didn't do anything. Probably not behind the scenes <laughs> to style it up. What a cool ass book, though. It's like a baby's board book, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can't those pages. Oh, man. How cool would that be to give your baby, like, a little <laughs> cardboard book of, book of Amira? Amira. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> that first would words. be so cool. What a great product. <gasps> oh. Yatue, yatue. Ooh. Great that, that still looks pretty nice. Yeah. Only smart thing he says the entire movie. (laughs) (laughs) They were all in the same tent. Yes. We were were speculating while you were gone that that, they're a thruple. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's good hand head cannon. I like that. We They're holding see. hands. Did you see that? I did not. What? Oh, I see it now. Yeah. They were holding hands. They're... I thought you were talking about the guy group. <laughs> That's really <laughs> cool. <laughs> Did they get eaten? I don't well, remember. When the Magi come and like are like, what you need to done? get out of here, the one in glasses is like this to the short tie guy, like holding his arm. Mm-hmm. Like. That's pretty cute. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this poor guy. I know. It's horrible. As a glass is where it really gets to me. <laughs> you suck, it Benny. Was fucking Benny and it stepped on his glasses. I mean, I feel for these guys. They really didn't do anything wrong. No. Mm-hmm. They were stupid, but. Do they do anything that different from Rick and company? They didn't have and a smart person. Rick on and their company team. were planning on doing it first. Right. So. It was a total accident that these guys found the canopic jars, and they found the tomb. Mm-hmm. I guess Evie had a hunch of where to go. Right. She, yeah. But well, not, she was digging up to get to where they this were. This is all Evie's fault, to be honest. It is, yeah. It's not like if Evie had discovered the chest with canopic jars, she would have been like, we shouldn't be here. Right. You know? She it's even really said, like, I don't believe really in this. Lucky. I don't believe in this. Fairy tales. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> This part scared me. As yeah, it's definitely creepy. This moment where he realizes there's something there. That's some good acting. Mm. Good face acting. Isn't it funny to think, though, that the mummy has really poor eyesight if he takes this guy's eyes? I guess so, yeah. Huh. You know what I mean? Have you ever thought about that? But does he get... His eyes, or he uses his eyes to restore his own eyes. Oh, I don't know. It's that's not like he steals question. the other guy's skin and he looks different than he did previously. I guess that's He gets true. restored that's to what he was. I just thought it was interesting. It is interesting. That that's the guy that whose eyes get taken. That's true. <gasps> oh, oh, no. Smart. Separated. A knock to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> This movie really does waste no time. No, it's just boom, boom, boom. It's great. I love it. (laughs) Does he call her Evelyn in the other movie? When he's yelling her name to, like, rescue her. Evelyn! I think, I don't know. A little bit of both? I think must be a little bit of both. Maybe it's just a brother thing to call her Evie. (gasps) 
Oh, shit. Ah. <laughs> That's a good scream. Yeah. I was definitely freaked out by bits of this when I was a kid. For yeah. sure. <clears throat> but also secure in the knowledge that they'll be fine. <laughs> like, this is the type of movie where it's going to be fine. I don't think you could articulate anything without a tongue. <gasps> Trap door. <laughs> That feels like another Ted line. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're done. Oh, he tries to go back. Mm, it's too late. She get turned into a skeleton instantly. Yeah. Jesus. My dogs are hungry. <laughs> He's trying to stay calm. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> I can do it too. <sighs> Such a good story. Holding hands again. Love it. You fucking idiot. the magi works like is there a certain number of them that are always there to protect and like is it like oral history passed down like this is your job this is what you're gonna do it's a cool idea it is a cool idea again very role-playing game sacred order (laughs) passed down for thousands of years to protect a tomb literally thousands of years without question guy's a great um, Morgan Freeman-esque guy in the sense that he could describe anything. It would sound intense and, like, (laughs) ominous. I'm making pancakes for breakfast. (laughs) I also love this when Benny pulls out every religious symbol (laughs) there is. It's like, whatever helps, you know? I'll try it all. That's some good lighting. (laughs) Look at how it matches the lighting. (laughs) Yeah. (coughs) No? No. Here it comes. All of the things. (laughs) He is a stupid, superstitious bastard. Well, it worked out for him. Yeah. Well, that's Benny's MO, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, here's a good question. It's from that little scene there. Is one of the mummies power to make gold trinkets? That is Are you talking about where, where it came from? Yeah. That stuff? I have no idea. He doesn't have pockets right now. He's got empty cavities. <laughs> <laughs> He hid it in his rib cage. I wonder if some of that was like the jewels he was wearing or something. I don't know. Uh, he had the Things jar, he was so maybe. With. Yeah. Yeah. Because right. they did, you know, bear I'll give it a office. pass. <laughs> All right. This movie's not crap yet. Continuity error. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you watch a movie like this, it's like, My you God. know, some things aren't going to make sense. Man, and that's fine. Cat. That poor cat. Looks like the cat that lives out here. Whatever. <laughs> oh, Whitey. 
I love this little spat. Yeah. It's like they're a married couple. Already. Yeah. He's packing for her. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> throwing in all of her stuff, whatever it may be. I'm with Rick. Yeah. <laughs> get the fuck <laughs> yeah, out. Get out. It's like, pack your typewriter, babe. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great line. (laughs) It's going to destroy the entire earth. Is that my problem? (gasps) Fuck. Very hot and slow. Fine. Very Very hot and solo. I love you. I know. <clears throat> he is very much like Han Solo. Yeah. Like, he's scared sometimes. He, he runs away sometimes. Also points his finger a lot. Like, he does, yeah. <laughs> this guy, though, Winston, we love him. Ha ha. Did you wonder, was this... It's a little uh, Titanic reunion. <laughs> yes, kind of. I didn't have a good concept of, like, what year this was. I was like, is this Winston Churchill? This is post-World <laughs> War is, One. Yeah, the 1920s? 19-teens? I think it's the teens, right? Yeah. And boo. <laughs> <laughs> this, this movie is very good at, like, quick setups and payoffs too so you get that guy he pays off later yeah that cat on the luggage yep that very quick yes. very simple but that pays we off know too there's a cat there thank goodness look how upset he is for his boyfriend <laughs> you wouldn't be able to say the s sound mm-hmm <clears throat> All right, SLP. Get over it. It's I a took movie. one CDS class, just so you know. <laughs> I remember during, after The Dark Knight came out, everybody was, like, obsessed. And our cousin Alex is an SLP, and she's like, he would never, like, Harvey Dent would never be able to say anything that he said in a movie. With his whole cheek missing, no. It just makes no sense. You would not be able to understand that, man. And I was like, okay, you just ruined the movie for me. I don't know about ruined. That's a cool ass mask, though. Yeah. Right? I could have done he's with. He's got cavities. I, I could have. they're hiding. I could have done with more of that. More masked mummy. Mm-hmm. Very creepy. He looks super cool. They do more of that in the next one. I'm just saying. Oh my God, they all just drink blood. Yeah. I like how Jonathan's also extremely knowledgeable, like Evie. I mean, that's he from doesn't the Bible. apply himself. Yeah. Well, I mean, not many people know that, though. You know? I do. <laughs> <laughs> he quoted it, like, wow. directly. I quoted the Bible on Thursday. You did. We don't know if that was legit, though. It was, We're it just was correct. guessing that you said it correctly. Because he lies a lot, you know? I'm sure you read the Bible. Yeah, yeah but- definitely. He made up which verse it was. Or I did make up the numbers. Have you read the Bible? No. Oh, God, no. Whoa! I'm, the, book, <laughs> the book that I'm reading now, though, like, um, it's in the, part of it's set in, like, the 1760s, 1770s, and uh, the main character, Claire, is like, oh, St. Paul, I never did care for his part of the Bible. And someone was like, but he's in the Bible. And she's like, it doesn't mean he's right. Like... <laughs> He's full of shit still. I'm about to start Outlander since we're going to Scotland. Oh, it's so good. I'm almost done with the fourth one. Oh, my. Shaky hand. Yep. Blast his ass. He's already kind of built. Double pistol. I'm say, you can just tell he's going to have abs. He's got the big old biceps. <gasps> hey, baby. Yeah. No, I didn't. <laughs> Get up, team. <gasps> it's whiting. <Whoa! laughs> it's so cool. Look. <clears throat> Sweat cats rule. <laughs> 
on the off chance that a mummy will come back to life exactly. and you need to get rid of them real For quick. For many other reasons, <laughs> but they're clearly very powerful. Whoa. No, they're in league. Cahoots. Smart. What a smart guy. I like his little fez cap. Yeah. <laughs> we sell this ancient artifact. What did you say? Sit on this ancient artifact. They're just <laughs> I like all how sitting Jonathan's on. up in the carriage or whatever <laughs> that is. <laughs> Sucking them dry, that's how. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh my god, he wants to fuck you. Wait till he steals a penis from somebody, then you're in trouble. <laughs> when the he comes penis back can with a jar. dildo. <laughs> <laughs> Seems he's already chosen. He didn't have in the opening scene. I was gonna say, here's the exposition you need. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? Get Double up over it! it. <laughs> the beginning is good! <laughs> They explain it all right here. He just, just kidding. People just want to be titillated. They don't want to think sometimes. That's fine. We're just saying we like this. I'm a dumb dumb too. This explains everything. Yeah. Now that you know the beginning, it's impossible for you to tell if you would get it. People were really stupid in the '90s. Okay. That's true. People just wanted to have fun. Okay. <laughs> no one likes it. Just a minute. <laughs> I love that. No one's happy about this. And he's like, here's some hot this. stuff right here. Okay. Oh yeah. Woo-hoo! Oh yeah. yeah throw oh, it on the yeah. bed. Come on. Oh. I'll come back for you later. <laughs> This would make a, a solid romance novel. Definitely. For sure, yeah. yes. There's fanfic. Oh, f- I'm, I'm, I'm willing sure. to say there's fanfic. There's 100%. fan art. I mean, Rick is basically wearing a harness the whole time. Like, we've got switches. I like, like, fort and reconnoiter. <laughs> Four poster beds. Hello. Mm-hmm. Lots of gauzy outfits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, zoom in on the eyes. You're done. Ooh! There, reptilianish. What is he doing here? Is he just making a? I mean, make it seem like he got like he got robbed and murdered or something. Yeah, maybe. It sucks. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> Throws a whole chair. <laughs> <laughs> He's so strong. He's so strong. (laughs) (laughs) Something about that. Oh, come on, I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) I dare you. <laughs> Shake the head. Oh yeah. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is where the scary stuff really starts. Yes. yes. This is, these For are the sure. horror elements. The zombie 
It's coming up here Villagers. in a minute. I'm going to use the restroom, so I'm going to talk about it now. But in a little bit, he kills one of the other guys, and you just see it in shadow. Oh, he like, picks yeah. him up, and you see him desiccate in just shadow. He's just like, yeah. Very a creepy. A light little skeleton at the end. Don't like that. Oh, oh yeah. See, the jaw really scared me as a kid. Was that the beginning of like the wide jaw thing I in don't horror? Know. I think it was. It looks kind of crap now, but it's a scary idea. We're going to have to watch a real horror movie on this sometime. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. There's so few good ones. So you can hear me go, ew, <laughs> the whole time. Ew. We already had ew. a little bit of that ew. when we watched 2001. Yes. When yeah. they were doing That's the true. close-in zooms on. Okay, here comes that shadow part. Come All right. Door. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, you should watch. What was it when we watched? We watched It, it together. Yeah, and you were like, one. ew, ew, ew. <laughs> <clears throat> we've got another breeze yep can't be good never good honestly this guy's very handsome though very handsome yeah i swear i recognize him <coughs> also shaking shaking <coughs> Oh, Oof. shit. So he can, like, turn into sand. He's got knee-high boots, too. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a good effect right there. Very good. Oh, he's almost complete. Seen some bugs in the meantime. ba 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 He's a great villain, though, don't you feel? Yeah. He hardly says anything. Look at her. Look look at her mm. sexy little nightgown. Yeah. She knew Rick was coming back. <laughs> she was ready to get thrown on yeah. the bed again. I'll just leave, you know, a little Perfect bit of cleavage. Exposed yeah. So he can see it when he comes back and Excuse me, cleavage. <clears throat> she yeah, put on a sexy look at that. little oh, nightgown. Okay. Yeah, he's coming back. <laughs> she knows it. <clears throat> She's like, I don't want to open my eyes to this guy. He's like, I'm doing this for you. I hate to kiss someone else, but. (laughs) Ew. Why does that happen? Yeah, I mean, because it's gross. (laughs) Josh, nosh, (laughs) nosh. Nailed it. (laughs) He holds up the cat. Look what I got. They explain it a little bit when he gets fully regenerated. He's like, I don't care about cats anymore. I don't know. Well, he said he will fear them until he is fully regenerated. Right, right. He's got, <laughs> <laughs> he's got one foot in the underworld and one foot in the real world right now. So. I see. Cool car. I love how it took so long to find the black book and then it's like the gold book. I'll just read these real quick and then we'll figure it out. Sure, you sure. Know? Who yeah, knows? I'll just stay in my nighty yeah, for I'll the rest of the Yes, please. Chair. Who's complaining, no though? No time to waste. <laughs> my favorite quote is coming up. This is one that I yeah. see a lot. There's lots. This movie is oh, filled with great very quotes. Very cool. Yeah. This is just me, already making me think of Jonathan's right, that's genius exactly escape. That's exactly what I was thinking. That's coming I'll up here in a little bit. I'll just try to blend in. <laughs> The beginning of the end. They're all teamed up now together. Isn't yeah. that great? Don't you love that? He says something. I guess maybe he couldn't regenerate with her because she didn't open the thing, right? So that's why he kind of rotted a little bit more. Is that the thing? Is that it? No idea. Oh, no. That's what I'm going to go with. <laughs> that makes sense to me. <laughs> Bridge scholars. They're the worst, am I right? Those losers. Sexist is what I would guess. (gasps) 
Ruh <laughs> row. Here it comes, April. Your line. There it is. Not right now, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> I sing that a lot. Patience is a virtue. Mm-hmm. She's still so pleased. Yep. Like the world is falling yep. apart everywhere. Very proud of herself. I'm s- still smart. <laughs> <laughs> he is such a good character. <laughs> Roll the natural twenty on his charisma check. Yeah. <laughs> Pure luck check. Coat hanging off one shoulder. Tiny, tiny tie. <laughs> yeah, Dad, 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 you're going. <laughs> that was scary to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then she says essentially the same thing yeah. later. Hey, can you run as fast as a car? Hello. Well, they're all over the town, you know. Hit them. They do. Doesn't work. There's too many. It's the Walking Dead. Crap show. Just drive it's, through. I mean, we're all cars, like, topless at this point in time. So it's like, man, if they just were in a car with a top, that might have been a lot better. And they made cars built for tough back then. <laughs> I think you could have plowed through everybody. Nice silence. Sorry. Wow. Very Wait, classic. Doesn't Sexy. even want to be here. Sorry. <laughs> I'm popular. Not really. It was a news alert. Great. About I'm glad stuff. we interrupted this viewing. <laughs> I can hear you mode. pee, so don't <laughs> even. Oh, that was oh. a stunt. Tiny tie, no! I feel for this guy. He's the last of his I comrades. He's lost both his boyfriends. Right. He fights the last. Yes. He might as well die. He's lost the one arm of his in the life. sleeve. The coat's finally come oh, off he, his shoulders. That's how you know he's on dead. One it's arm. The end. Oh, God. It's like the parting of the Red Sea. Make way. Oh, no. Fight him. Just throw those guns at him. Punch him. Do something. It's too scary. Look at that guy. And I kick her, sir. <laughs> and I kick her. You guys should put, I thought about this on the way here, that you should put Emperor's New Groove on your list. Oh, maybe that's good. One. That's good. Anastasia, which is Anastasia's what you were quoting. So good. Yes. Great mouse detective. Do we have Shrek? I think we have Shrek I, on there. I, I have Shrek on there. Oh, let me help you down, babe. Come on. <laughs> Get behind me. Oh, keep your tits in your negligee. Those or are for not. me. Those are for me. <laughs> <laughs> I love how, like... Jonathan and Rick both want to protect her, but Rick is much more fierce about it, and Jonathan's like, ugh, yeah. maybe no. Sidia. <laughs> Love this. She corrects him. Yes. <laughs> Get him. Dumbass. Take my hand. <laughs> and I'll spare your friends. I feel like Rick and Evie just complement each other really well. Very different, but great together. You know what they both oh. have in common? Very impulsive, the <laughs> both of them. <laughs> yeah. Very driven, headstrong. He's like, yeah. yeah, Mr. Steel, your girl. I'll be seeing you later. Again. Idiot. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. Yeah, whatever. Chills. Oh, the smirk. Love See it. See ya. See ya, nerd. 
Mr. Steal Your oh, Wife. He wants to go after her so bad. Thank you. Man. I nailed that line. Gotta admit. <sighs> I mean, they did a great job of making Benny so unlikable yeah. that you want him to get fucked. Yeah, definitely. You're going to get yours, Benny. I'll get him, bud. So what happens to all these people when Imhotep, Imhotep finally... They have to live with what they've done. Bites it. They have full memories of murdering people. Mm. Nice. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's unfortunate for them. You know? They didn't want to be very in this. nice. It's definitely unfortunate. That's a funny. Okay, so we, I've been complimenting the transitions. That's an interesting one. We jumped in a manhole. <laughs> now we're in a car. The same car. It sure looks like it. In, in a field strip in Giza. Uh, a they word? can't all be winners, Kenny. <laughs> This was the 90s. Ha <laughs> ha! This guy's living life. Drinking yeah. Drinking tea under his umbrella with a gramophone playing. Great. <laughs> great oh. NPC. We need a ride. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love all of this. The Magi is like loving this flight. Never left the ground. <laughs> Look at him. It's so like a fun. dog hanging out of a window. <laughs> and then in the next one, they get on the bus and fight all the mummies. He's like, why can't you people ever keep your feet on the ground? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do it if you were. <laughs> so he just like transports them with the sand? Yeah. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Her hair is so wild and amazing. He's got cool powers. He really does. Benny acknowledges. Oh, okay. Soon. Here's the loincloth. Right? I mean, look at him. He looks good. Yeah. <laughs> Not into baldies. <laughs> I mean, I agree. I he's think obviously more attractive. Plainly. If he if he smiled, he's got some nice laugh lines. If he smiled, that would be. Mm. If he was just giggling and having a yeah, good time, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he, Look at him. He looks a little Billy Zane ish. He does. I would agree with that. Billy Zane. I wonder what he would look like with hair on his head. I think he looks good. I bald. think you could you could look into it. Isn't mm. he in a? Isn't he a bad guy in another movie? And he has hair. Yeah, I believe so. It? I don't know. That'll be something for us to discuss. Yeah. In the episode you've already listened to, so. <laughs> this is great. It is. Very cool. I love the whole sand wall trick. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> oh! That's great. That's what people remember from oh, this yeah. movie. Oh, yeah. This is all in the uh, trailers, I remember. Right. When this movie was coming out. I was like, holy shit. You remember the trailers for this movie? I'm old. All right. <laughs> well, and Relax. it's probably... 65. <laughs> they were probably on other VHSs that we had. Like this preview. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like... Did oh. we have this? We had this on VHS first. Like, that's Definitely. how old... That's how long we've been watching That's this. not even a question. He'll kill them. That's the idea. Oh, how can I distract We him? didn't have DVDs until like 2010. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but we sure got that VCR rewinder thing for all of us. Oh boy. VHS what a unique product in the history of time. Yeah. A specific device to rapidly rewind, rewind a VHS. Do you she remember could have... what a chore it was to rewind things? Yeah, I do. 
That was such a testament to what kind of person you were if you finished a VHS and you didn't rewind, which is right. what I did every right. time. That does speak to <laughs> certain parts of your personality. Yeah, that selfish, really tracks. bitchy, <laughs> the, mean. If I really want to watch it again, I'll rewind yeah. it then. That's Bastards. a problem for future me. Exactly. Like you are, when I think of like procrastination... April that's me. <laughs> she gets it done, but she waits to get it done. Yep. And that's fine. I can't do it unless I feel a sense of urgency. I remember you, you and telling all my me students. in college, you would like set an alarm for 3 a.m. Yep. and do it the morning of. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. If it's not too much trouble. Yeah, yeah. This guy. I want a whole movie about this guy. I know. He's great. Oh, Winston. Well, this is what he wanted, right? It is, yeah. Evie could have saved him. service of... If instead of kissing Emotep... She need him in the balls or something? That's not what I was going to (laughs) say. She sucked his dick. (laughs) (laughs) I remember when we were younger and you were like... Quicksand isn't in the desert. This doesn't even make sense. It also and I was like, us. stop! You've been like this so long. That's Kenny. so Kenny. <laughs> See, that doesn't bother me now. Um, actually, <laughs> there isn't even any quicksand in the desert. <laughs> also, it, it wouldn't do this. Real quicksand, if you just relax, you're just going to float in it. It's non-Newtonian. It's no big deal. It's like in The Princess Bride, where she's like, spread your arms, like, yeah. slow the, the mm-hmm. fall. That, I don't care about that. This is like fantasy Egypt where there's pits of quicksand. I accept it. Right. Yeah. Suspend reality. Yeah. That doesn't bother me. Here it comes. <laughs> Squints. And I'm nasty Samson. little fellow. He fellas. is a nasty Samson. little fellow. Mm-hmm. She and Rick said the same thing, but in very different ways. Yeah. <laughs> He's been doing this all movie. All movie. Directing. <laughs> oh, I love when Rick pulls out his knife. He's yeah. like, Shh. So hot. Jonathan competent. is like so a, hot. a mirror of. Uh, the little rat man that died earlier. Yeah. yeah. Ah! Throw it! Whoa! Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, no! Here we go. Ah! Uh, what do you want, <laughs> so man? So good. I'll just shoot this bug. <laughs> By shooting, it's Rick. <laughs> it's clearly Rick. obvious. Who else would it be? <coughs> this is cool. Also, a very role playing game. Kagame. Hurry up, cats. Nailed it. Just wait. How do you get? Nice. Mm-hmm. Wee! <laughs> Love it. This guy's like, this is awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, my my best friend. Let's <laughs> do <two> back there. <laughs> Nailed it. How do you get? And don't bring any cats. <laughs> I hate like, them. It's just funny. Like in the next one, when he's like, the magi guy's like, I like to fart. And everybody's like, I like to fart. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> I like to fart. <laughs> Did you shoot it? Evie taught me this, but I can do it in a cooler way. Yeah, he does. Gotta use a gun. That's but stupid. <laughs> Revolver? That's, I don't know my guns. That's stupid. But, <gasps> fine. It's not. It it's fun. It's exciting. That's fine. It's a swashbuckling adventure. Even the Sacred Order guy's like, holy shit, I'm loaded now. <laughs> We could probably recruit some more magi with this stuff. (laughs) 
I could actually <laughs> just could give retire to Hawaii if and, I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Then they'll have health benefits. <laughs> How did I end up here? <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> this is also a very role playing game. A great move as a game master. Show your adventurers a huge amount of gold that they could never bring all of it back. <laughs> it's like so exciting, but like they can't bring this stuff back. <laughs> okay. These are At people in costumes, point, some of them. Yeah, it's like. Oh, Jonathan. <laughs> yeah. Rick's like, are you kidding? He's doing it though. At this point, it's like, you know, maybe we can come <laughs> back for this later. <laughs> Throws, Throws it. the gun. <laughs> Love it. This is like some Power Rangers, like, putties kind of stuff. Like, people in costumes, like, <laughs> wriggling around. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at her With biceps. Benny. With Benny, it's like... Some bonded shit. God damn, this movie's great. <laughs> she works great. out, obviously. Look at her. She works out in the library. Oh, a rat. <laughs> Ooh, that head explosion. God damn, this movie's great. <laughs> this is where the gold book is. <laughs> what? <laughs> How did that work? Time to close the door. I love with Benny that it's his. It really is his greed that does him in because he could have stopped here, yeah. but he goes in for more. Yep. Bad with animals. Don't trust him. <laughs> right. Exactly. This movie loves shadows. I'm realizing. <laughs> okay. All our gold boys back where they belong. Hmm. <laughs> Babe. They just had to put her in her nighty for all of this. Of course. Who's complaining? That's my Not I. thing, yeah. Get your tits out. <laughs> <laughs> this is him undoing her bra. <laughs> Click. <laughs> <clears throat> oh yeah. A lot of pig noises I'm noticing yeah, having the off. headphones on. I want to spin off with him in it. Like, does he find love? What does he do with his life after this? Now, that would be actually a cool story. Mm -hmm. It's like, the mummy has been defeated. Now what do you what do? What does he do? I mean, you know, you say that, but it's also like, again, going to Princess Bride, Inigo, his future is being the Dread Pirate Roberts. Would it actually be fun to watch, or is it just more fun to imagine? Yeah. Probably just more You're fun right. to imagine. I'm just, yeah. I just love that guy. Yeah. He's so great. How many shells you got? He's empty. I like his face tats. Yeah. I think and I'm going to get long a skull hair. tattoo. He just goes in. What? <laughs> just lighting matches on his head. You can't, like, these These are old, the matches from that era, you could light them on skin. Really? I think that's why they're doing that. You're full of shit. That's you true. You don't even know that's what That's true. <laughs> they're, they were like quick strike matches. You could, like, strike them on any surface, really, any hard surface. <gasps> it's oh, jelly. It's Flubber. So cool. My bride. Flubber. You should put that on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I would love to see how that holds up. <laughs> I bet it's good. I bet it's cute. We all cry watching it. I rewatched Inspector Gadget not that long ago because I remember loving that movie. And I was like, this is garbage. <laughs> oh, no. See, that's what I'm afraid of. Natalie and Stella made me watch all the Descendants movies in increments after school. Uh -huh. They're cute. If they had come out when I was... Ten oh, years yeah, old. That's like the I high school musical. Obsessed. Of they their were time. so cute. So here we learn he has to kill someone else to bring back Aung Sun Moon. And all the <laughs> intro did was introduce a plot hole. He Just was step gonna kill a gold <clears throat> boy. Relax. Oh, 
Couldn't he have just killed her then? Uh, yeah, I don't know why he is like, ah, oh, <laughs> the Book of Omen. Ro- the it's whole like... thing. <laughs> He's ADHD, guys. <laughs> Easily distracted. Whoa. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. <laughs> now this. My man. Saving his girl. Oh, yeah. Himyun Setna. Not these guys again. So this scene right here that we're watching, there's more corridor crew covering how they did this. This was just Brennan Frazier pretending to fight invisible people. Really? Right. Yeah. Wow. He's so good. Yeah, look it, looks, at him. it looks great. It does look good. Were they like, we'll just put in stuff. We'll match what you're doing. They, whatever you're doing. I, I think they worked with him on like, here's what you're like imagining you're doing. It. But like. You're batting a head <laughs> out of the park. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? Oh, boy. <laughs> Lots of pig noises. <laughs> Good thing they're so slow. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Mm-hmm. His so facial much... <laughs> expressions are really yeah. good. <laughs> so much inventive shit. I remember the legs being curled up to the body here yeah. after this. Chop the legs, thinking, he got fall lucky. down. What if he fell forward? But no, he fell back. <laughs> a bird, a stalk. <laughs> Whoops. Now you've unlocked the elite. <laughs> Some Elden Ring shit. Uh-oh. Black Knight's so unlocked. Great. I mean, you just look at these guys and you're like, fuck. Yeah, even scarier. Oops. Oh, yeah. He's always smirking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love that for me. <laughs> I'll do it back here. Yeah. Thank God he's smart enough to read this. Right. See, that's great. They. They could have set up more of like what his background was. Clearly, he has some. Yeah, clearly some... their parents educated them both. Yeah, but he took it in a different direction. But they didn't need to get into any of it. Here's some mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we'll reverse the tables here. This has always made me laugh. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> very Han Solo. Yeah, run away. They just jump it. It's just very practical, you mm-hmm. know. Like, how am I beating these guys? Yeah. Fuck that. And she has to fight an Oxum Moon. Yeah. Cat fight. Whee! Oh, yeah. We are swashbuckling. Oh, okay. Very Han Solo Some again. Some tropes are good, you know? Yep. These guys. Oh, they're crawling the walls. Mom would hate that. <laughs> now this part, he's like, all right, bring it. There. All right. <laughs> so this is also him just doing things in the air. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good thing he was a soldier, am I right? <laughs> Very cartoonish, but again, Good who's, fun. Com- who's complaining? Yeah. Clean family fun. <laughs> <laughs> Such good contrast. Yeah. So such intense shit, and he's like a bird. (laughs) 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 Oh, he's defeated. No, what's he gonna do? Just in time. No way. Fakushka <laughs> on Sunamun. I like his statement necklace. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. Call. All right, Fukushka. Unfaithful bitch. 
How did she keep her hair? <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. The bandages it's a around wig. her head kept it in place. Oh, it's a call back to the beginning, you remember? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's what the beginning's for. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, man. You know what? I love when he puts his arm back in. Screws it back in place. Yeah. Hey, what's up, bitch? <laughs> right on the chin. Ooh. <laughs> Nasty. Oh, Him being a pickpocket <laughs> pays off. Don't you love how he feels like the hero? Yeah, there? he is the hero. It. Jonathan did the most at the end of this movie. Uh, Agreed? I mean, they, they would not be alive without him. Yeah. That's for sure. He does. He reads the book. He commands the soldiers. He pickpockets the mummy himself. I mean, he's the one that brought the soldiers out in the first place. I mean, so, so yeah. <laughs> he's kind of a mixed bag. Yeah. You aren't helping. <laughs> Look at that. Paradouche. 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 Bye, bitch. This is good. Get fucked. Whoa! <laughs> Not too so. Not too so. Imagine your soul being dragged away from you like that. Hey, come on! I guess it's not his soul, it's his mort- immortality. Yeah. <laughs> nice roll. Spin. Juke. Very Galaxy Quest. <laughs> That's another good one. That's on the list. That's a swashbuckling one in a different way. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a swashbuckler, but yes, it's in the same vein. See you, nerd. <laughs> Go drown, bitch. Death is only the beginning. Do you know that was a tub of milk they used to key that in? Shut up. You're a liar. <laughs> no, okay, that's You're not true. You're a fucking liar. <laughs> Everything else was true. <laughs> I've learned to recognize in your voice when you're just a little I'm too... I was going to say, that one was <laughs> obvious right there. Yeah. <laughs> eyes are the last Give me those to eyes go. back. Sequel. Let's get the fuck out of here. It always freaked me out, too, the lowering walls and just getting under them in time. That is really freaky to me. I just yesterday linked on my Twitter from Titanic, which is maybe is another movie we'll watch oh, someday, when the watertight doors are closing and the people below deck oh. are like just barely getting through. I was yeah. like, to me, that is the best action scene of all time. The most anxiety-inducing. Mm-hmm. No special effects. No, no, It's just like you understand what's happening and you're like, oh my God, your leg almost got cut off. Right. I will die here unless yeah. I get out underneath. <laughs> <laughs> Not the book! <laughs> they both grab I agree her. with her. Like, come on. Oh, How did you do that? You could have let it go yeah, exactly. any, a second or leave the gold any time. Oh. You deserve this. That. The spilling sand. <laughs> this feels very RPG. Too. Oh yeah, definitely. So many adventures have ended in this way. <laughs> <laughs> Thinks about it. Come on. Now they grab him. <laughs> All this rich stuff. O'Connell's always the one with his head on straight. Yeah. Like, come <laughs> on, guys, please. Carnahan's. Even now, he's like, Ugh. I would still save you. Yeah, right? He's such a good guy. Oof. <sighs> not, best. not broken up about yeah. it, but he tried. Yeah, what? would have done it, but. You literally sold your soul to oh, the devil. Oh, look at this. Eek. Look how close he's cutting it. Like, oh. like it's just so... No, thanks. Uh, how did they film that? Right? That's so it looks big. so real. Oof. It's funny, you stress oh. about that and he dies anyway. Yeah. As he should. <laughs> Spoilers. Right. And it breaks the mirror. Mm. So, uh-oh. There Oops. goes your light Darkness. source. Darkness, yeah. <laughs> Ishbak! Shushbak. <laughs> Shushbug. <laughs> you 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. do. Get so fucked. he's also in Van Helsing as the same kind of character ish, right? Is she? Isn't he the guy in Van Helsing? I don't Helsing? remember that I don't movie know. at all. I've watched that like twice. He's in my the life. same character and like it's the same director too, Stephen Sommers. Ha. Huh. So you should do Van Helsing sometime because he's also that little weasel man. Yeah, exactly. This podcast definitely will never end. Yeah, we've got <laughs> There's plenty. There's so many. <laughs> this is all really cool too. Look out! I feel like it was the whole place was structurally unsound. She's running. In sand, in heels, in her nighty, Looking amazing. Did you know there's, like, actresses on their resume, they put can run in heels, like, that type of thing? Makes sense. Because that's something you have to do in some movies, apparently. Dana Scully runs in heels all the time in X-Files. Clearly. All the time. We've been making fun of Scully a lot in this first season of the Smiles. <laughs> what? Why? Every single episode, she's like, there has to be a logical reason for well, this. Well, that's she's right. Like, that's blah, her blah, entire blah. character. Okay, you just saw a ghost suspending another I human in the I get annoyed air. with Mulder because he always knows what's up immediately. And she's like, maybe you should calm down about it. And he's like, no, it's definitely this. And he's was, always right, which is frustrating to me. Every time they touch each other, I'm like, uh, yeah. So I was like, I wonder what they fuck. And I googled when they got together. I'm like, oh, like season shit. nine. <laughs> season nine. But I read somewhere too that there was this thing called the Scully effect, which after that show came out, a lot of women went into science and stuff nice. like that because she was so That's cool good. and was so knowledgeable about awesome. so many things. The Evie effect. Yeah. How many girls got into Egyptology? <laughs> oh, this I movie? did for sure. <laughs> Oh, Whoa! how sweet is that? <laughs> <laughs> I agree, Jonathan. I, I would yeah! be oh, oh, great. Beautiful. My sister gets laid. It's a good kiss, good too. Good for me. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. The arm grab. <laughs> 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 little kissy wissy. Oh, oh, a little butterfly kiss. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, oh my yeah! God. Hot. Use that on me later tonight, baby. <laughs> oh, and they get paid in the end, too? Yes. Oh, we Don't love you it. think, like, man, her back's going to hurt after a while, though? Because that cannot be Her back's going to hurt for other reasons. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, wasn't that so good, you guys? Yeah. Love it. Do you still love it? I do, yeah. Great I, movie. I haven't watched so it in good. ages. It, it holds up. Still very it fun. Like I said, the dialogue, super, super snappy and yes. great. Yep. You've got to watch Romancing the Stone. Okay. that will Add it to the list. This was great, not just because it was a great commentary track. We added like 10 movies to what we <laughs> need to watch. Yeah. So for that, very much worth it. Thank you for joining us today. We will see you in the next one. I've been Kenny. I've been April. I've been Samantha. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.